Good afternoon everyone. My name is Dr. Saurabh Roy. Today we will discuss one of the important lecture series where we are starting a new lecture series that is wearable antenna. I hope it will help for you people. So in this lecture series we will discuss about the different things like what is wearable antenna, what are the basic design requirements, what are the design problems we are facing whenever we are designing some wearable antennas as well as we will see the new paper, research paper which was published in the wearable antenna domain, what are their specification and which frequency band they are using particularly and what are the disadvantage or what are the advantage and what are the problem facing in the wearable antenna designing issue. Okay. So this series basically full based on research scholars, those who are working in this particular wearable antenna domain. I hope you people will love it. Okay. So first one is the what is wearable antenna. So before going through that discuss of wearable antenna. So wearable antenna nowadays everyone, each and every human being and are using some form of wearable antennas and day by day market is increasing rapidly. Okay. So first thing wearable antenna are essentially that is specifically designed to function while being on. Means whenever we are wearing something, so we are using some part of element or some antenna devices which are basically comes under wearable antenna forms. Okay. So it become increasingly very popular and common in consumer electronics. So nowadays we have seen every human being are using smart watches or they are using some devices which are regularly monitor their blood pressure, sugar and other things. Okay. So it is very important. Now apart from that, what is the basic application of the wearable antenna in apart from consumer electronics. So they are basically dedicatedly applied in the military services, services, fire department as well as medical application. So those are the application domain which we are using in the military service. So whenever you are writing some article, so you should mention that your particular design antenna works in for which particular application, okay, which with some specific bands, okay, like 2.4 gigahertz, um, uh, Bluetooth application which are using for medical application band. So these things you should specifically mention which um, application and where which particular band we are using for that particular application. Okay, clear. Now we are moved to the next part in the design scenario how the variable antenna are used in the human being condition. So first one is the you here you have seen observe one human being is or different types of sensor okay like ECG sensor, blood pressure sensor, insulin sensor, temperature sensor, heart rate sensor, oximetry center and motion sensor. So those are different sensors where the human can use those particular things. So those have some different positions. Some sensors are used in the hands, some sensors are used in the legs and some sensors are used in the near to the heart okay to measure the ECG, ECG and other things. Okay. So basically those sensors are collect some information from body human. So they are gathering some information and some devices are processing those information. But whenever we, those information should be transferred to some particular devices and particular system. So here we need the variable entity which, is, which are used to transfer the data from that particular body to the nearest devices which are connected that particular device. Okay. So there wearable antenna comes in the uh, wearable um, medical applications. Okay. So but in design perspective whenever we will see there are different problem arises whenever the antenna is comes around your human body. So we will see those things what are the different prospects. So apart from that medical application there are another application that is called military application or one of the most important purpose for military purpose the wearable antenna uses okay. because in that particular military application your antenna must be more uh, accurate more uh, efficient and as well as it is must be more reliable in terms of we can use more flexible okay so this military application the device cost does not matter but the efficiency matters okay so uh, whenever you are as a designer you are trying to design something so these two things you should keep in your mind which application you are using either it is military application 
or you are using for normal consumer prospective. In the consumer prospective, cost is matter. But in the military application, cost does not matter. In the military application, efficiency and accuracy is more matter. Okay. So whenever we will see in the this particular military person, so he carries so many devices which are transmitting the particular location information or enemy information or any other information. So they need more accurate version. If on any small changes happen, their life is in danger. Okay. So this type of whenever we are using or whenever we are designing the antenna for military application, we should be more accurate or we should be more sure about the working of the particular devices. Now, what are the design challenges? Either it is in military application or consumer application. What are the design challenges we are facing? So, first one is the proximity to the human body. The human body is a lossy material for electromagnetic wires. So, it converts electromagnetic data into field into heat. So, the body absorbs energy from electromagnetic wires. So, antenna is placed near the body. The antenna efficiency is reduced. Okay. So, these are the things, main things will face in the whenever we are trying to design the antenna for human body oriented application okay so here the our body uh, is trying to reduce or trying to reduce the efficiency of the antenna and somehow the antenna is not working properly in some cases so these things we should keep in your mind apart from that design particular design challenges and other things we are observing in the wearable antenna cases that very limited volume or antenna should be as small as possible it should be small but it should be accurate also okay so we should, that is the design challenges very limited uh, volumes okay so no one want a watch with a big dipole antenna hanging out the side everyone wants a smart one as well as it must be small it must be more accurate and it must be cost effective okay so another problem we are facing whenever we are using the wearable antenna it must be some specific application we are using and the human body that has different diameter or different bending things so whenever we are using in a hand so their their um, diameter is different or their bending like car curvature of the body is different similarly here curvature of the body is different so we should think before designing the antenna what are the things we should uh, which purpose we are using and which particular body application we are using and then particular body area only we can check the our variable okay so those are the design challenges we are facing whenever we are trying to design the variable antenna okay so in the next lecture we will discuss what are the substract required for the variable application what are their uh, different um, parameters substract parameter how we can calculate what are the different fabrication step to design the variable antenna it is very simple how to design but no information is available in the internet and other things and it is very difficult to find out the uh, designing steps how the fabrication steps done so we will try to sort this issue and i will discuss those particular things in the upcoming lectures so thank you thank you for your support and thank you thank you thank you everyone